Taking an early dive into summer, parts of the US and Western Canada have sweltered in unseasonal heat. With temperature records challenged or toppled daily across the region, many welcomed the abnormal warmth. Last year was like uh, rainy, uh, wet this time of the year. So yeah, totally abnormal for sure. But you know, at this point, you know, the first first hot week of the summer, definitely appreciate it. I'm super excited because we get to be in our swimsuits and run around in the water and splash in the fountains. So super excited. But for others, the heat's heightened fears of more extreme weather events to come. There's not much I could do about it, how I feel about it. It's, you know, it's kind of, that's kind of disturbing a little bit. I'm a little bit leery of the future, for sure. I see there's already forest fires in Alberta like crazy. So, yeah, bad omen. The extreme heat gripping western parts of North America has continued to fuel wildfires burning in western Canada. That smoke now drifting into eastern Canada and parts of the U.S. affecting air quality. Now it is extreme but not as exceptional as to what we saw two years ago where Canada set a new all-time temperature record high but still records were broken daily and monthly records across the region. And to give you an idea of how high temperatures are sitting. Well, let's look at Seattle. We're nearly 15 degrees above the average and that trend is set to continue. So far this month, more than a hundred wildfires have swept areas in Western Canada, forcing tens of thousands of people from their homes and triggering a state of emergency in Alberta province. Energy production in Canada's main oil producing province has also been affected. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau visited troops trying to put out the flames. And with the hot and dry conditions set to continue, more troops are expected to join in the coming days. Kara Legg, Al Jazeera. Tensions are rising in Pakistan as thousands of supporters of the opposition leader Imran Khan have been